Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Okay, I uh, had a hard time sketching on such small boxes, so I just about scared. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right over to... Or you have some really good stuff going on here. I think it's really effective that you have included the word from your word lists. And, and that really adds this tie. Um, and, and it really allows the viewer to understand these connections that you're making based on your assignment of meaning from your word lists to the depiction of that meaning visually through the word mark. So I think this is really fantastic. You've done, you've really got some wonderful things here. Enough here that you can take a look through this and really decide what your best approach is, right? So, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that although this is a wonderful little study for alternative, I, I, I mean, I think there's some inherent problems with this in terms of using it as a logo, uh, specifically a word mark. And I think that, that those problems are the fact that it's it's not really legible. So, so I mean, I think we can rule that out. And I, I don't mean to sound discouraging. I really don't. I'm just trying to be as honest as I can. So you can go through these and take a look, see what's working and what's not working. Okay. And then eliminate what's not working immediately. And then you're left with a group of, of sketches that you can really, really sink your teeth into, so to speak, and say, okay, hey, I can do something with this. Okay. Um, so the really good job. I mean, you've, you've, you've the, the explore, uh, exploration stage here is, is really, really interesting. So, um, you know, and, and some of these depictions are just really fantastic. I, I really like what you're doing here a lot. All right, now here's where I'm at in this, this assignment and here's where I'm at at this point. I mentioned this a few times in the logo development, but I, I don't want to play art director. I don't because I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, okay, hey, use this example. I think it would be great. Let's move forward with it. But that's not helping you at all. I really want you to be able to take a look at your work, compare it with your thought process, compare that with what you're saying about your client, and then you can really have a good um, well-rounded depiction of your sketches in, in their association with the meaning that has been uh, assigned to the client. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I basically, in a nutshell, I think you know more about your uh, methodology right now than I do. So it wouldn't be fair for me to come in here and say, okay, pick this one and go with it. Do you see what I'm saying? So I think that right now you, you're, you're so, so um, enveloped in your research and you've got so much going on and you're understanding, really understand what you're trying to say about the client through the word bark. So go ahead and work this to, to what you think is the best and most, most uh, uh, expeditious uh, delivery of the message. Okay. Love this. These are fantastic. These are really, really good. I mean, this is all we can really ask. As you know, through our first set of sketches in the logo development, there is no right or wrong here at all. I mean, this is just merely an exercise for designers to be able to, to keep an inventory of the associated meaning that they've assigned to their, their client through the word lists and to be able to keep and, and work that inventory into a visual solution based on the data extraction from your research. Okay, that's a really important concept to keep in mind here because that's how it's done. I mean, in your in your studio jobs, when you when you graduate, you're working in a design studio. You have a project like this. You could be. I mean, I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying it's quite possible that you're going to be asked. Uh, someone's going to ask you for 100 or 150 sketches um, depicting, you know, the the, uh, the word marks. So, uh, so just so you know, I mean, I've, there is no right or wrong answer, of course, when we learned that last week, but it's just, a, I'm trying to move around because right now the sun is getting me right in the eyes. I got the sun blowing, blaring through my, my studio window here. So at any rate, sorry, I'm moving around a lot over here. So anyways, um, that is, that's my, my recommendations. I think you've got some wonderful things going on here. So at this point, just really comb through these and take a really, really careful inventory, discard what is definitely not going to work, and then revisit to the things that you think might work and, and we'll take it from there. All right. Fantastic job. Thanks so much for sharing your sketches. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to clarify. Thank you.